Okay, so I wanted to show you my completed setup um, for my new CNC machine and uh, what I did here. I built a, uh, a little, first off, I built a little cart there just out of one by fours and some plywood and I put it on a little uh, furniture dolly from Lowe's and my computer's down there and also the control box for the CNC machine and then also down there um, I have a high output uh, aquarium and pond pump. And what that's doing is I have a little system here I'm testing out and I have it rigged up right now. Is um, This here is the tube connected to a um, flexible gear tie, basically like a big uh, twist tie. And I have that connected to the pump down there. And um, I ran the, uh, the air tubing up through the bottom down here on the side. And there's a little uh, four-way valve in there. And then uh, I went and ran the air tube through this uh, the cable chain here, I guess is what you call it. And then just around and zip tied it on the front. So I'm going to test it out and see how it works. I'm going to do a big area clear here on this piece of about nine and a half inches in diameter. So I'm going to see how this air tube does and blows the air away from the bit so you can see what's going on and in theory hopefully it should blow it back there to that little uh, shop vac exhaust port which is connected to my um, 14 gallon 6 horsepower shop vac and uh, you know with this enclosure here is built out of um, one inch thick um, I guess it's Pink Panther um, insulation board and I have it um, basically just taped with this uh, orange or I'm sorry this silver um, duct tape or I'm sorry uh, hot water heater tape that is uh, wrapped around it there so and then I have some glass doors just and a little frame system on the front some plexiglass doors and also so some little foam tape around the doors to create a seal. Now I was testing this out last night and um, and I kind of discovered by accident I created like a negative pressure box because this is sealed up pretty tight and um, you'll see it if I turn the shop back on with the doors closed um, it seals everything pretty tight and it sucks in some of this a little bit of the top back here you can see a seam of tape where I had to piece it together because my pieces weren't big enough so um, you know it'll suck down this middle part a little bit so I had to reinforce it um, there's a little tape right up in there and there's a little aluminum L beam just you know like a three-quarter by three-quarter piece of aluminum just to kind of support that seam right there so, I'm um, going to see how this works. And um, with the dust, first I'm just going to try it with the air pump blowing the dust away and see how that works. But then I'll also turn on the, the vacuum so you can kind of see the negative pressure effect of my uh, enclosure. And I already did test it out a little bit with these little uh, holes in the wood. Um, they're going to be for 3 8 inch dowels. And then this round cutout is going to be for a um, paint and glue caddy that I'm working on. Uh, it's going to be a little Lazy Susan little double or triple decker uh, caddy for my paint and glues and uh, whatever else I want to put in there. Maybe some screwdrivers or something. But so there it is. Um, I'm going to give it a first big test for my dust control system and see how it works. And so I'll go ahead and uh, pause the video here for a moment and set the camera up on the tripod so you can get a good steady view of how it all works. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the, uh, the air pump on, all zeroed in, and I'm going to go ahead and start it up and see how my dust blower works.
Okay, so I just paused the machine for a minute just so you can kind of see. I mean, it looks like it does blow the dust away from the bit pretty good. Um, no issues with the, uh, the tube interfering with anything, and I can, like I said, it's on that flexible gear strap, so I can uh, just kind of bend that out of the way or adjust it as I need to if I looks like it's going to, uh, you know, interfere with the workpiece of the bit or whatnot. So next, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the machine or on the vacuum, and uh, just kind of show you how the um, this whole negative pressure system works that I just kind of didn't think about when I put everything together with the tape and the foam and basically sealed the whole the whole box up. So um, it'll suck everything in and you can kind of see, um, I'll back up the camera a little bit so you can see how basically it just sucks the doors in tight. Um, and the only crack really in the whole enclosure is in between the two doors and then there's a couple holes where my uh, cables and wires for the uh, machine are coming up through the bottom. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, pause here just for a second to move the camera back, get the machine, uh, the uh, vacuum turned on, and show you how everything else works. Okay, so I'm all ready to go. I'll unpause the machine, turn on the vacuum, and close the door, and we'll see how everything looks. So I just turned off the shop vac because I don't need to have that running all the time. Um, one of the main purposes of putting the air tube on uh, to blow all the dust was to try and get as, keep as much dust back towards the back of the uh, machine towards the exhaust port. Um, and mainly for the enclosure too was sound control. Uh, I think there's about like a 10 decibel difference um, in between having the doors open and the doors closed so I think it should work pretty good um, 
you know obviously it's not a very big machine so I don't know if this would work with uh, with like an X carve or one of the bigger uh, the bigger CNC machines but um, since I also use my uh, shop as a one car garage especially in the winter time I needed something that was uh, pretty much fully self-contained and uh, you know I wouldn't have dust flying all over the place or wouldn't have to sweep and clean the whole garage after I'm, I'm done working all day in here so um, you know I'm gonna let this run for just another moment or two just to kind of show you what I've got going on here I think it works pretty well um, if you have any questions or comments about the material I use um, you know, I'll try to put the, uh, remember to put the uh, information and the links in the comments uh, section below the description, I'm sorry. And uh, if you do have any questions or comments, let me know. Or feel free to like, you know, like the video if this uh, was helpful or you thought this was pretty cool, which I'm happy with it so far. And, uh, you know, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I'm definitely going to be uh, posting more videos. Um, you know, once I get to designing some more elaborate projects, and I'm gonna put those on my channel. So uh, again, uh, please uh, hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time.